everyone, I'm Miss Chris, and this is another episode of Miss Chris's Farm Feasts. And today we are making stewed tomatoes. Tomatoes are kind of ending in my garden right now. Um, I ended up going to the farmer's market and they had a giant box of tomatoes for only 20 bucks, um, which is great. They were really nice plump plum tomatoes. Um, I took a pot this big and I filled it to the brim and I covered it with a, a lid and steamed them for about 15-20 minutes. You want to make sure when you're steaming them that you don't let them get so mushy. You want them to have a firm texture when you're going to cut them up. So what I do is um, I just steam them enough to get the skin to kind of come away from the flesh. And just like that, the skin peels right away. It's really kind of cool. It takes a long time to do a, a large pot like this, but I'm nearing the end of uh, all the tomatoes that I've steamed. And before I chopped up these tomatoes, I chopped up one onion, four cloves of garlic, and one pepper from my garden, and chopped it up really nice, fine dice and I put them in the pot and I sauteed, sauteed them with olive oil until they were uh, translucent but not like crispy brown. You just want them to be soft. And then I added the tomatoes as I chopped them up and I'm going to do that now. So just, as you can see, the texture of the tomato is just like it's raw, but it's, it's cooked enough that you can get the skin off. This is a, a nice way of preserving tomatoes. If, you, if you're not sure what to do with them, like if you don't want to make spaghetti sauce, you just want to make, a, you know, like a, a good recipe where you it's very versatile. So I can these. And then in the winter time, if you want to make sauce, you just pull a jar, dump it, add a little tomato paste, um, and then cook it down, and then you can uh, puree it with a hand blender, and that will make a really delicious tomato sauce. You can add some fresh herbs or dried herbs to make it um, that Italian flavor. But I'm just doing basic tomatoes, onions, garlic, and a little bit of pepper. Uh, oh, and celery too. I added some, oh, two stalks of celery, finely diced. And that's a basic recipe for stewed tomatoes. Um, as you can see, I'll show you the pot that's almost finished. Nice little bits of peppers and onions. Nice big chunks of tomatoes. That's going to go into um, uh, some canning jars and then I'm going to preserve it on a, a shelf. I'm going to give it a taste because I already seasoned it with some salt and pepper um, and Montreal steak seasoning. That's my secret. So I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Delicious. And that's my recipe for stewed tomatoes. Enjoy!